Hey, it's Roger here from What's On Disney Plus, and I'm here with Amelia Warner, who is behind the music of the new Disney movie, Young Women and the Sea. And uh, big thank you for taking your time out to speak to me today. And I just wanted to ask, first off, like, how did you get involved in creating sort of music for films and shows? Um, I started working um, as a composer, as, as favours, really, to friends who... Um, I had a couple of friends who were directors and um, it felt like people always ran out of money for the music for things. So they would know that I would play the piano. And so the first couple of jobs that I did was just, uh, you know, a friend who was doing a short film was like, we've got no money, please can you just write something on the piano? And I did that and then I did the same for a couple of commercials and then and then it just kind of went from there and I just really enjoyed the process and um, found it really um, fulfilling. And um, and so that's, yeah, that's how I started. That, that's cool. And that's a, a nice way of kind of as well of kind of going into it slowly rather than kind of having the pressure, I'd imagine, as well. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I changed my mind. Like sometimes I really wish I'd have had the clarity to know that I wanted to do this much, much earlier and to have studied it and to gone to music college and kind of hit the ground running. Um, but you know, it, it was a slower process for me, and I think because I didn't have a classical training and I didn't go to music school, it, it felt like something that that wasn't going to be available to me. But over time, I kind of learnt the craft and have, I guess, built up the knowledge and the confidence. But um, but it was definitely a slower way of going. But it's but in, to your point, it's quite nice in some ways because I've I've got to kind of learn in my own way and and had time, I suppose. That's cool. And how did you come up with the, like the overall sound for the film? Um, I, you know what, the sound of the film just kind of grew and grew as the film went on, to be honest. Um, I think initially, uh, you know, the, the initial conversations were very much about, you know, how the film should feel really theme should thematic and have proper themes and feel quite old fashioned and classic in that way of, you know, having a really strong um, main theme. So I suppose the main, where I started was just trying to find that theme. Um, and then once I had that theme, I remember everybody kind of thinking, great, you know, we're done. <laughs> but actually because of, because of the character and because she's got these so many different facets, it was also really important to have a kind of sports film theme as well. So that was a really key part of it. Um, and probably the hardest, I would say, to come up with that theme that just made the swimming feel really exciting and made the film feel propulsive and kind of gave it this forward motion the whole time. Um, so yeah, so I, I, those were the two, I guess, biggest aspects was the sports aspect and then the emotion of, of her. Um, and then the sound that we, you know, the, the sound that it ended up having was, you know, mainly orchestral, but then definitely with some more contemporary um, elements, you know. Um, and and I, again, as the process went on, I feel like I pushed more and more out of that period of time, you know, and, and those restrictions kind of lifted um, because it felt like everybody was really enjoying the more contemporary elements. Yeah, it definitely has that kind of um, old fashioned feel in just in general how this whole film is. On your social media, now you do say that you often found swimming in freezing cold water. Did that yeah. um, help with the um, kind of coming up with some of the music elements? Like a couple, I, a couple of people have asked me this, and I and when I got the job, I remember thinking, "Oh my god, this is so great because I'm a swimmer and I swim in the sea all year round, and this is going to be great." But I have to be totally honest, and I'm not sure that it really, that it really <laughs> informed anything or translated into like a choice that I made uh, for the for the score. If I'm totally honest, I mean, it probably gave me a little bit of um, empathy and understanding of like what Daisy went through and her kind of experience. Um, but no, it, I, I, in practical terms, I don't think it really had any impact <laughs> to be honest <laughs> and also I mean swimming off the British coast is not it's not always there's not a lot of a lot of uh, not, sometimes not the most relaxing things with the waves crashing over when I'm surfing and stuff but um what's been your biggest highlight working on the film oh I think working with Jerry Bruckheimer for sure I mean it was just like I just learned so much and I felt so so it was kind of privileged to to be able to watch him and hear him talk and you know I'd, I'd often be on the 
the, call, the edit calls with everybody and um and just listening you know and um the way that he thinks and he's always thinking about the audience the whole time you know what are they feeling what are they experiencing and and that was just so interesting and um i took so much from that so definitely that and also being in, in involved in a disney production i think was just such a dream come true I was, uh, Jerry Brockham, I mean, his, the movies that he's created are sort of many of my favourite films. So, um, yeah, definitely could see how that was. Um, yeah. Also, he was a big um, influence on Disney actually putting this one out in cinemas rather than just straight onto Disney+. Plus. How did that make you feel when you found out that that was going to happen to the film? It was, it was so great. And I think we'd heard rumblings or rumours. And I think, um, so I think once you've heard that that is possible, I suppose you, your mind almost goes to that. So I was so glad that it that it did go, you know, that, that did happen. But I think, you know, Jerry, um, it was his highest testing film that he's ever been involved in. So I think when it, when it got that score in the test screenings, it was kind of, it, it felt like, yeah, this has to be experienced in the cinema. And it's such a cinematic film, you know, I think Joachim is, is visually it's so beautiful and the sound design is amazing and hopefully the score is, is you know good and I feel like the whole it's it's a real kind of cinema experience so I'm really glad that you know that some people will get to have experienced it in that way. Yeah it's cool and um, what was your biggest challenge working on the film? Oh, what was the biggest challenge? I think it was oh I don't mm, well one of the challenges I would say that's just a really technical thing is when you're working with water um, and sound, it's quite hard because water is like white noise. You know, it's, it's very, very noisy. So you've got the kind of waves, then you've got the kicking, the splashing. There's just so many different um, types of noise happening that that can be quite challenging to like pitch the music in a way that isn't in the same frequency, that isn't getting in the way. Um, so that was that's hard. And then I'd say it was more just a, um, I think it was my first studio film. And I think that just the level, the level leveling up, you know, involved was, was tough at times. And I think the expectation and the kind of rate of delivery, what, what, what you're doing to the schedule, the, the constant kind of conforming editing the changes you know it's like a very fast moving train with like a with moving targets everything is constant you know every day it's a different challenge um which was also really fun and exhilarating and I loved it but it you know it was definitely um a, a, ste a, a step up that's cool and my final question is obviously with um you're working for Disney they have a lot of big franchises and stuff is there any other franchises that you'd like to work with them on before Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, I can't think of anything particular to be honest. But I mean, I'd love to obviously stay within the Disney family, and I, you know, and and be part of. I, I love everything they do, pretty much. No, it's cool. It's it's always that thing of like music is, especially soundtracks are such a, a major part of like Disney. Not just obviously um, just movies, but then if you're at the theme parks and so on. I mean, yeah. I personally just love listening to soundtracks while I'm working, and um, yeah. it just concentrates. And I, yeah, I've been listening to the album for the last week, so it's been great. I'm just kind of like, and it's just like, it's for me. I just I like to kind of just get in on it and just kind of. So I've been really enjoy really enjoying listening to the album, and obviously uh, Young Woman and the is going to it's out in selected cinemas now and they'll be coming to disney plus at some point soon